once again, this is Chief Miner Larry Kobatayong. Welcome back to our channel, to our Laksonian Future Engineer, and also to our Kabaro in line of profession. In this video, you will learn regarding about the protection of marine environment, regarding about the what you call the critical equipment that is OWS or oily water separator is one of the critical equipment installed in different kinds of vessel where to put the retained oil extracted from OWS the oily water system or OWS can also be used to retain the left oil that was extracted from the oily water the left over oil has been two options it could be put in holding tank in the vessel or to be discharged at later time to the waste oil treatment company or it can be discharged to the port facility so what is the distance discharging of oil mixture by means of 15 ppm of parts per million oil water separator based on section 311 of the Clean Water Act, as amended by the Oil Pollution Act of 1990, applies to the ships and provides discharge of oil in the U.S. or United States, extending 200 miles or 320 kilometers offshore. But U.S. Coast Guard regulation prohibits discharge of oil within 12 miles or 19 kilometers from shore unless passed through 15 oily water separator which sure can be discharged while the vessel and proceeding in route take note this oily water separator cannot be used in port unless if there is a port state control or other relevant authorities that will inspect that OWS during the activation of 15 ppm and also the circulation of the water so is the responsible person in charge of oily water separator for accept acceptable range of 15 ppm naturally the chief engineer is the overall in charge of this machinery it is also it is also handled by the second engineer However, the duty engineer might also be asked to operate under his supervision. So, we'll take a look again for the operating oily water separator. So, so the oily water separator can be operated when the ship is sailing en route. The oil content of the affluent must be less than 15 ppm and the ship has in operation an oil discharge monitoring and control system and oily water separating filtering equipment so in case of failure to follow of any above mentioned rules the ship will be fined and stopped and the chip or the second engineer can be prisoned so here is the oily water separator diagram so if you can notice this is inside of the what you call the Policing pack. So there is what we call the oil water interface. So the upper part in the oil, based on the specific gravity, but and also the lower part is the water. So before starting of this uh, oily water separator, you have to read based on instruction manual. So you can start this only at sea with at least based on the company and authorities so regulation so before starting you have to press to introduce side this uh, OWS of uh, press water first you have to close the overboard valve then after that you can check the pressure about the 0 0.5 MPE or so before starting of the oily water separator take note you have also to check or open this uh, cover inside the what you call the monitoring system you have to check the history the data before starting and check the date month also the year and history before operation so 
before starting, you have to inform also the bridge officer in charge by the command of the master that this uh, operation of the oily water separator can be operated. Uh, in next video, you will see how the operation of the oily water separator by means of the Kongsberg simulator and actual operation. So before starting of the builds oil separator, I that advise you that uh, if you are doubt, you have to read uh, instruction manual regarding about its operation. So before starting, take note that uh, we proceed here from the number 062 builds pump. So where is the water came from? Came from from the mostly from the different kinds of tanks with its drain going to its uh, individual tank. So for example, engine room up, engine room port side, and engine room starboard, as well the engine room forward inside the engine room. So before pumping of this uh, bilge, say for example, if this level is high, already in the high level, you have to open this suction valve of this pump, while this uh, suction of the sludge tank is closed. So after that, we put in manual position, then we have to open this uh, going to the dirty bilge water tank, the valve open, then back to the bilge pump after start the pump and set an automatic mode then back to the dirty builds water tank so here we are now in the builds water separator unit uh, before starting of the builds water separator first we are going to open the suction of the either in this uh, main cold seawater switches seawater or either in the clean builds water tank so we are going to select, select this uh, clean builds water tank close this uh, main coding water pump so before starting of the builds pump first we're going to open this uh, manually bug going to the clean builds water tank but first switch on the heater of the builds separator unit so the inside the uh, builds water water separator take note there is what they call the oil generated by the steam inside them so there is what they call the temperature already in a normal range after that we're going now to start the bilge pump to introduce water inside the bilge oil separator so okay start then the pump is already open then take note there is what you call the three wave bulb so you can notice there is a flow already in the going to the inside of the builds oil separator so heater is on then input and automatic operation builds oil separator take note so after that we are going now to open the suction of the clean builds water tank and close the clean builds water tank that's the time that the dirty builds water is suctioned by the builds pump going to the builds oil separator then after that it will pass to the filtering equipment there is what you call the oil water interface inside the water separator and also the heater then passing to its uh, detector what is called the oil control monitoring system that is required of only 15 ppm so we are going to set in 15 ppm 15.0 ppm enter then after that that's not the time we're going to open this overboard bulb then we have to reset the alarm okay so if you can notice now the oil content is already at 0 ppm so once the oil content reaches in 15 ppm the operation of the builds oil separator is still continue but this uh, what we call the builds separator circulating bulb or thermostatic bulb automatically open then the water content mixed with the oil will return back to the clean builds water tank so 
if say for example you have to switch off this uh, build pump this uh, thermostatic bulb will be automatically closed or disactivated and we put it automatic this uh, also this uh, thermostatic bulb will also open because the upper part of the oil water or fuel's oil separator is the oil so the oil will return going to the sludge tank take note that the oil will return to the sludge tank but the water will go to introduce going to the builds oil well separator so okay we'll try to stop the pump then what happened the thermostatic bulb closed disactivated and uh, this what you call the thermostatic bulb of oil well separator the oil part will go to the sludge tank okay we will start again then so what happened the bulb activated and you can notice the in the side glass there is already a flow of water so there now the builds oil separator we can notice this is a normal operation because there is an oil heater switch on and the builds pump is started and the suction bulb is open for the deal uh, dirty builds water tank and the overboard bulb is open so take note this uh, builds water water separator is one of the critical equipment on board so it this is a big responsibility of the engineer as well it handled by the second engineer so in case of malfunction there is possibility that the officer or engineer in charge will be in prison or their license will be revoked and will cause no job if you can notice the engine room forward engine room starboard engine room port side engine room starboard you can notice that the water content is already and the uh, lowest level so if there is already here in the slats in the slats tank by means of uh, heating there is also evaporation so we have to open also the bulb here because there is a con water content of the build tank after that we put in manual and start the pump and automatic position then we can notice here put in manual start going to the dirty builds water tank and return back to the sludge tank we can notice here the level of the sludge tank it is easily lowered down it's the time we're going to start the sludge pump then we have to switch on the sludge oil incinerator for ignition in such a way there is no sludge inside the sludge tank so say for example if the sludge tank is already no holding tank or bit sludge tank is already in full you have to discharge it in the port facility you cannot discharge oil well directly in the sea or the ocean because it is the against of the marine pollution annex one so okay we'll return back to the built water separator And now you will notice that builds water separator it is in the successful operation thank you very much for watching my video and see you again for another episode